Howdy folks, it is July 7th. I bought this boat back in September. And I put it in the water right about that time. And it's finally time to take it out. It's time to take it out because I sold it to a guy who's taking it to Puerto Rico. And I'm gonna put it back on the trailer, put it back in the yard and wait for it to come be picked up. Now I broke pretty much even in terms of how much I bought it and how much I sold it for. However, obviously there was a lot of other stuff that went into using the boat, gas, the slip fees. There she is. And all that. This hose was a gift from my parents, that was nice of them. Nah, this boat was awesome, but it just didn't work for me in the part of my life that I'm in. And I wanted to avoid the sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> any more money into it it was an awesome ride though had some good times I took out my best friend and my dive buddy we went fossil diving and we uh boat wouldn't start. <laughs> that was a little too rough that day to be operating with it anyway. I took my best friend's girlfriend out on her first boat ride. Me and my girlfriend went out. We had to be jump started and then had gas delivered so I ate a bunch of bananas on the boat that day I took it out one time and did a, a work call while I was on the boat And I had to be towed back in. I took my parents out for a little cruise. We went to lunch. And I took my girlfriend's parents out. Just kind of hung out. Anchor got caught. I had to jump in and un unhitch it. I've cleaned the bottom a number of times. Uh, I learned a lot of lessons. You know, the, the costs involved with it, like you gotta get sea tow, you gotta make sure the engine's running, you gotta get the dock fees, you gotta get anchors and lines and all that. Uh, you gotta put fuel in, you gotta have just little extra things for the boat. And that, that's end up why I, I ended up selling it was because I, I couldn't put more into the boat. I couldn't master the boat as I'm trying to master network marketing and master being a scuba instructor and scuba diving. And, and just with all other things, it just became, I was spreading myself too thin. I also honestly didn't really like driving it. The way the steering wheel moves and just the way I can stand, it's not comfortable. And that kind of kind of did it for me. But 
it felt really good to just be on it. I mean, some of the best times I had were when I just took it out by myself, just straight into the sun, out into the golf, you know, maybe only a mile or so, and then just sat there and drifted and laid out, sunned my butthole and had a little bit of lunch and just, just whipped it around. But the best time was definitely Thanksgiving. I mean, there were so many times I had Taylor and I would load scuba gear, load the thing, lunch, everything. Wouldn't start, wouldn't start. I'd call my dive buddy, Ben, you know, every time he touched the boat, it would start. But, uh, and he, you know, we loaded it so many times. And we eventually, there was one time we had it all loaded. We pulled all the lines off. And then went, oh crap, I need to start it. And it didn't start. And uh, we drifted in the marina towards a bunch of other boats. We held on to a piling. And we just sat there until another guy gave us an oar that we could paddle back across the marina and hook it back in. And when I would come off the dock or go into the dock before, I'd come in really hard really hard and I've gotten a lot smoother a lot better at that a lot better at feeling the wind with the t-top I mean the first time I tried to dock it the dock was here I ended up perpendicular because of the wind luckily it's easy to just grab the piling kind of move the boat but the best time was got to be Thanksgiving Taylor and I loaded the scuba gear it was literally a perfect day sunny flat we whipped down to Casperson, checked out those reefs. Uh, we guessed at where to dive. We threw in the anchor. The visibility was great. We swam around. We found some stuff. We headed over. You know, it all worked. We, it was, and then we gave the gifts to her parents, and that, that was really nice. Say the best times of the day you buy it and the best day you sell it. Maybe the day I put it in the water and the day I took it out of the water were, were some of the best, besides Thanksgiving. And I'm not mad about it, man. I'm not mad about it. Every time I look about it and I think about it, I go, no, you know what, I should have this boat. But at the end of the day, it, it's not the best move. I'm going to put my efforts into something else and I'm gonna come back with a bigger and better boat, one that can take me where I wanna go, out in the golf with friends. Otherwise, I'll just pay for a boat. steady.
I learned a lot about the, the extra costs. I mean, if anything, like I said, I broke even. There was other fees, but I learned a lot of experience. I had a lot of good times. I mean, you, you don't go. It's not easy to, to rent a boat for, for cheap or just to rent a boat by yourself, you know? It's expensive. So, like, if anything, all I did was rent a boat for the extra fees, the dock fees and the... dock fees and, and maintenance and everything I was able to use a boat a handful of days I know I I let my dive buddy and his buddy use it a few days all I had to do was fill it up with gas I mean at the end of the day it was it was a good rental for almost a year I'm not mad about it I know what I want better now in terms of a boat I know what's what can handle what. I know the the stress that comes with being the the boat owner or the captain. Getting it there. Yeah, you're good.
Yeah.